Hello again everyone, Saka here and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Honduras and when we last left off we assigned our field marshal and our general and we are uh, sitting okay. We're at 1130 manpower so uh, we were working on our support group. We have no template but we are making 3.96 support equipment a week as that production efficiency rises up. We are working on a construction effort that adds two more civilian factories. Why is that important? Because we are building up another military factory uh, set to be done in August. Um, but with those two extra civilian factories, we can speed that up as well as import uh, some cool stuff to allow us to do this. So uh, we need steel. So we'll use one of those uh, factories to import steel. And if we need aluminum, uh, we might be able to do that as well. Uh, looking at our government, we have a silent workhorse for our political power gain, as well as military factory construction speed increase. Uh, we also have uh, weapons and equipment research, quick uh, industrial research speed, army experience gain. We're at 12 army experience as of now. Ready to change that template uh, as soon as we are able. Um, one thing that we are waiting on is we're waiting on the engineer company to be discovered. Once this engineer company is up and running, we will change our template and get the manpower and the, uh, oh, there we go. Construction effort three is done. All right, so we can go infrastructure, which adds infrastructure. We really don't need to move around that quick. Uh, so let us get in some more, uh, let's see, we do need that for the extra research slot. And that would be good indeed. So let us, sure. All right, so if we don't have enough building slots for infrastructure, we'll bypass it. Uh, but that looks good. Uh, basically, to unlock that third research slot will be very important uh, moving forward. Uh, as more factories come online, uh, we want to research some stuff. Because as of now, uh, we don't know a whole lot. Uh, looking at the engineer company, it's going to be 300 manpower per. And with our three divisions, uh, that is almost all of our manpower. Uh, and uh, adds a little bit more supply. It reduces the soft attack a bit, but improves our defense. Uh, makes train time a little bit uh, more uh, lengthy. But we're good in all of these areas. Forests, hills, jungles, marshes. You know, the things that we are living in. So it makes sense uh, to have an engineer company up and running. But first, we're going to get that radio uh, for reinforcement rate. And that will lead into some radar. Uh, and then by the... No, we're, we're still too early for the competing machine. Uh, so we can think about, do we want an Air Force? Do we want to build a fighter? Do we want to try to build a boat? Um, you know, looking at the industry, uh, we're a little bit early for 1937. No, we're not. All right, so production efficiency. That would be awesome. All right, we can modify this government. All right, so what do we need? Uh, Chief of the Army is morale, defense, and drill. Reducing training time. I'm thinking defense or recovery rate would be ideal. Uh, is there anything else passive that we can do to increase, let's see, airbase construction, non-core manpower. Bah. We got, uh, yeah, okay. Same ideology, opinion, we're 100% democratic. That's not going to help us in the least bit. All right, so military high command. Naval attack, motorized attack, mechanized attack, air superiority. Like, none of these sound good. I mean, we can get a tank designer if we wanted to try to roll out a tank eventually. Uh, but I think for now, let's do recovery rate. Just spin that up a bit uh, because we have no real good decisions to, uh, to take to, uh, you know, to, uh, to spend that political power on. Uh, just improve worker conditions uh, for higher stability. We're at 65%. Might not be bad, but we do... Is that an increase of consumer goods factories that we need? It, it makes sense. Uh, so we really don't want to do that. Uh, press censorship, no need. Um, and then we don't match those requirements and we need world tension to have war propaganda. Um, so 
You know, we're, we're just sort of in a holding pattern right here. Uh, almost full of fuel in uh, how many days? We'll fill our capacity in seven months. We'll be completely full on fuel. Uh, and I don't believe the engineering company uh, needs any gas. Uh, if we looked at the uh, research, so it looks like the field hospital logistics company and the signal company might need some motorized. Uh, so that's where some fuel usage would come into play. I'm thinking at this point in 37. Okay. We could work on the Great War tank. Um, or maybe some artillery. I don't know if we want to bring artillery into the field. Let's see. So that's some defense. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to be producing artillery. Let's see. Fighters. Okay, so 20 manpower per aircraft, it seems. Yeah, we're going to be running low on manpower as soon as that engineering company comes in and I get the uh, these folks reinforced. All right, 2.8 thousand units extra. And looking at that, they need 1,000 more upgraded equipment and we make five per day. Uh, yeah, the production efficiency... Um, as it goes up, that will help us out tremendously. We'll keep one route on the support equipment. Do we want to bring in some steel? Would it be worth it to, to do a trade here? So if we traded for one steel from, say, the United States, we would buy eight of them and use up a civilian factory to do it. We'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll order one steel, as we're probably going to need a whole lot of it as well. So that is full rifle production. And we just need a little bit of aluminum. So yeah, completed in May. Another military factory. And the thing is, I don't know if we want to start another production line. We could go another line of weaponry, put another factory there to basically double what it's got. It'll lower the efficiency a bit, but that way as we continue on through history, we'll be able to produce weapons all the way through 1944 with those uh, factories. So it wouldn't be bad once we did get this uh, extra military factory built to uh, go ahead and dedicate another factory to the production line. I don't know if we want to do a naval dockyard. We could coastal fort up. If we really wanted to improve our, uh, our defense... But I'm thinking maybe another civilian factory would go a long way. Since we're not really hurting for military factories as of yet. Looking at our branch. Yeah, we can get one more military factory there, one more military factory there. And we could go research slot, research slot. So we'll be fine in the realm of... Yeah, military factories. So I think we need to make sure that the uh, civilian factory is okay. We'll put that in the queue. No, we have no extra slots. Well, that pretty much narrows it down. Um, yeah, so once our buildings are done, we can either spend... We'll spend one to trade for the aluminum that we need on this production line to help that support equipment. And as far as buildings are concerned, um, maybe, like, can we even build a fort? If we build a coastal fort, yes, we can. So we'll queue those up. And we're sort of then, if that is the last civilian factory that we can put down... 
we're going to get infrastructure, and that is it. I don't know if the army effort would give us any more civilian factories, but we're tapped. Like, that is, uh, that's your lot. <laughs> so that is as uh, much as we're going to be producing, really. So once we get the... So that's infrastructure effort done. We'll go research slot. But we've got space for two more military factories. And then that is it. That is as much as we will be able to produce. Like, period. Um, so thinking about, let's say, um, ooh, Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity. Right. Um, so tomorrow? No, in two weeks, we'll have another military factory uh, that we will dedicate to uh, the weapons line. And then with our remaining, do we try to research a tank? Do we try to research air airplanes? Do we try to get some air superiority up in here? Because um, we won't have enough manpower until the war really breaks out to do anything of that nature. It's really tough, but I'm happy to see we have 100 support equipment ready to go. All right, political power. Air superiority, submarine detection, naval anti-air attack. Air base, naval base. That's not fort. But just in case, we'll do that. Fine. All right, so radio is built. Next up on the dock. So it's 1937. Do we research motorized? So that way we can have a military line or a production line making motorized for our support company. That way we can get into field hospital or the signal company because we don't have the manpower to waste. So having more men power saved in the field would be quite good. I think for now we would need that. Man, it's 1,200 manpower per motorized. That is rough. Is there anything else we can do? Yes, indeed. So production efficiency or factory output. Oh, and max factories in a state. That's what we'll need. So once we learn that, we can possibly cram even more factories in here, which is good to know. So we are a month away from the engineer company. We'll go ahead and uh, change up our template. And if we did that, yeah, we can't even sort of look and see what it will do. But we just have just enough manpower all right, uh, so second, second factory right there. So we still have plenty of steel in excess. Uh, we have two extra steel. And we have an extra factory. Oh, man. So the coastal fort will be done in the 6th of July, 37. So two months to build a coastal fort. Yeah, it's certainly not bad. We'll at least have a level one coastal fort up here. And I'll tell you what, another coastal fort right there. Sort of make ourselves a little bit more defensible. Because <laughs> uh, we're going to need all the help we can get if uh, we are raided. How does El Salvador have the manpower? Probably being fascist. Yeah, 3,000 to 5,000 just manpower sitting around, and we can barely scrape by with 1,200 people. But we will have enough for our engineer companies, and that's the uh, most important thing as of now. Yeah, I don't want to use any of our factories to import that aluminum until we know for sure uh, that we're going to need extra, uh, extra old... Uh, Support equipment. 
But we do have 122 in stock. And that uh, production cap is going up nicely. So just out of curiosity, how much support equipment does this need? It doesn't really say. It's just we needed to know support equipment. And if that is the case, we can get that third factory over uh, to produce more weapons. Because right now we are running a deficit of 542. But we're making 8.8 .8 and 3 quarters weapons a day. Getting our army a little bit more modernized. Yeah, we're just going to have to see right tomorrow what happens when we add an engineer company to this, uh, to this template. See, are we going to be behind? All right, so engineering company is unlocked. Next up, construction speed, factory repair speed, production efficiency cap, go up. We need to make the most out of our uh, factories. And now, edit and add the engineering company. So it takes 30 support equipment per. So we just squeaked by. All right, there we go. So these guys are getting an engineer. So we're up by 42. All right, so current fighting strength 100, 100%. They're pulling in the manpower. And we only have 295 men to spare. But we do have engin er, engineering company now. And it kind of looks like they're losing their, uh, their basic training a bit. So, Flirtling, rest position, move. Yeah, we'll just sort of top them off here. We have extra weapons and support equipment in, the, in reserve. But we definitely do not want them going soft. Oh, that's right. We had to train up all the, uh, the new engineers that were attached up in here. Which is fine. So not too awful much needed to, uh, to top these guys off. Getting some more army experience. And how much are we making per month? So uh, one... Oh, nice. Amelia Earhart made it. Good to see. All right. You all are done? Recover. All right. So they're topped off. Experience three regular. Go ahead and get yourself back entrenched with your engineers. Get your morale back. Yeah. Um, region wide. Okay. What is this? Region wide industrial integration has not already received an extra building slot from in infrastructure. Cannot build anymore. We get an extra building slot. We shall. So we have taken that decision. And I believe that unlocks a, uh, a building slot. So if we were to build another, say, civilian factory, we can indeed. Because we're going to get the extra military factories from the armament uh, efforts once we're done with our research uh, blocks. And then we can start researching just for giggles. Maybe even the land doctrine. That would be uh, good for our, um, for our fighting forces to sort of know what we're doing. And then we'll grab that next research slot on top of that. And boom. The remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland, close to the French border. Ouch. Okay, so we need more than 50 factories to get the second level. So next up, armament effort. And our extra research slot. So what about our land doctrine? We don't need mobile. Superior fire ta firepower is good for soft attack. Because we're not going to have any grand pa battle plans and we definitely don't have any mass assault. 
So let's get a land doctrine researched. These guys will know superior firepower. Yeah, so manpower needs to recover, that is for sure. Japan has the largest world tension, plus Germany for the Rhineland. Marco Polo Bridge. Does this mean peace in Asia? So what exactly is kicking off here? Japan, okay. What about Germany? So Germany is stationing troops here. Okay, so Germany hasn't taken Anschluss yet, it doesn't seem. The UK still looking very democratic. Neville Chamberlain. United States, 9% uh, communists. Uh, the next election is in 40, so in three years we'll see if all FDR can get re-elected. How about our neighbors? So Nicaragua is unaligned, but leaning democratic. Guatemala, yeah, over a quarter democratic. And El Salvador is still 100% fascist. Alright, so that is uh, worrying a bit. Fuel supply is almost done though. Four more months until we are completely up on fuel. Alright, so in August, in two weeks we will have our first coastal fort. And then that will shift into, let's actually move the civilian factory after that coastal fort. And then, possibly if the war kicks off, we will do a conversion for uh, civilians and military factories. And I believe there is a, an advisor that can do that, but we may have already uh, screwed the pooch on that one. Alright, so we can't go to early mobilization unless we have 15% war support. It will lower the number of civilian fa uh, factories we need. And also lower the construction speed, but getting some mobilization wouldn't be bad. Right, working on our export focus. If we went free trade, that would put even more resources to market. And people would learn about our three, our three big bad divisions. All right, more than 10% war support. We can go limited conscription now. We are not isolated. So we might be able to get some conscription up, which will increase our manpower, which then we can spend some more of our military experience to increase the amount of people we have in each division. And we have extra, extra equipment laying around. Yeah, so I'm thinking we go up to limited conscription whenever we get the uh, the points, which isn't too far away. Just a scant maybe week away, and we'll get some, uh, some conscription because of the world tension going up and Hitler taking the Rhineland, and probably Japan justifying a war goal on China, uh, we're able to, you know, bring in some more people into the fold. Allowing us to change our template. Alright, so there we go. Limited conscription is in place. So we go from 1.5% of the recruitable population to 2.5% recruitable population. And I'm thinking that maybe it refreshes at the end of the month. Because still only uh, 327 people are free. Point zero zero three mobilizing per day, eight hundred eighty thousand of the eligible core. Yeah, we'll see if that goes up, and if it does indeed go up, we'll change up our template a bit, because I don't want to run like bone dry. I want to at least see some manpower increase before we uh, go changing up our template again. Maybe add another width of two inventory. 
Uh, so each one of these is 1,000 manpower. So even if we add one block of infantry, we would need 3,000 manpower in the bank. Yeah, it's uh, a little rough. What do we need for extensive conscription? So communist or fascist or at war with an estimated strength ratio of 50% or more compared to our army. Well, that will uh, happen quick, but we, we need to be at war with 20% war support. Okay, so basically we need to see if we can hop on the good foot with uh, the United States. So if we improve relations, it will cost us 10 and a daily cost of 0.2. We make, yeah, 2.36 per day. Sure. Let's start improving relations with the United States. As they are democratic, hopefully they don't flip to, to communists or whatever uh, and not come to our aid. But I think if uh, we wanted to be in an alliance, we would sort of join their war and then we might be able to go into higher conscription. Hey, we're up to 1.2K on the manpower. There's concentrated industry two. So construction speed. Oh, what do we do? Oh, okay. So we researched uh, a couple things at once. Outstanding. So it's still 37. Uh, research, resource gain. Not too worried about that. We're 189 days ahead of time. Or 0.2 years ahead of time on the research speed. Unless there's something cheeky. 112 days there. 112 days there. We're not on cavalry or motorized. Curiouser and curiouser. What do we want to do? Part of me wants to do motorized. We'll have some extra factories to put out some vehicles. Just not the manpower to support it. So if that is the case, let's go ahead and do research speed. We're a little bit ahead of time, but I, I don't want to do anything research-wise that will require manpower that we don't have. Hey, upgrades almost looks like they're done. Yes, indeed. So we are making extra support equipment and infantry equipment. There is our armament effort done. Armament effort three. All right, one more military factory. Yeah, we don't need transport planes. So we could finish up. Yeah, let's do two and two. We'll increase that up a bit and then we'll take uh, factories away as needed. But we'll keep building up this surplus uh, just in case. But we almost have enough manpower uh, to modify our divisions and I think we'll go ahead and do that. We only need 3,000 manpower. So they'll slowly trickle in. So let's add another infantry division. All right, there we go. So manpower will slowly trickle in. That should use up most of our manpower. Yeah, so we're at 4.8k on the manpower. We need 30 support equipment and 510 infantry equipment one, which should be slowly trickling in as well. There we go. So we just need a little bit more manpower. So each uh, each day, they'll slowly trickle in. Yeah, so we only need less than uh. We need about 900 men. And, uh... How much do we get per day? 
Doesn't say, but they're slowly trickling in. And then once we get all of our extra manpower, we will... Uh... Oh, that was everybody. It looks like it took everybody in one fail swoop. All right, so how are our divisions? 100% fighting strength. They just need the infantry equipment and support equipment, which we have plenty of support equipment, so that should be uh, trickling in. And we should be at 100% fairly quickly. All right, go ahead and front lane rest position, move. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll go ahead and train these guys up. Get all the new uh, the new trainees up to speed, up to level three. We'll have a new land doctrine in a month and a half. In about, you know, three months, we'll have improved construction. And then we'll be working on our computer. So all that should be good. Are these guys training as well? Kind of looks like it. They may have just got done training, but just crazy sauce. The amount of troops they have, just 10, chilling here in the capital with two on the side. A far, far cry from our troops here, that is for sure. But they'll be the best train that we can possibly get them. That is for sure. The United Kingdom announces the Balkan Diplomatic Initiative. United Kingdom is preparing their strategy. All right, so they're looking at what Germany is doing. Yeah, you, you can't march to Germany across the water. Unknown focus and improving relations with Sweden still. So Czechoslovakia is half fascist, or that's Austria. Czechoslovakia is democratic. Yeah, hasn't kicked off quite yet. But uh, Germany and Japan are sort of being cool a bit. Cooling their jets, but that's not going to last for long. Yep. Plenty of attrition. But 93, 93, and 93. Yeah, plenty of equipment to spare. So modifying our government. So we can't go up too extensive. We could do free trade, but I don't know if that would be worth it. And we can't do early mobilization. We almost can. We need one more war support. And that would lower the amount of consumer goods factories we need and speed up the construction speed of our factories as well. That would certainly be nice. Now, before we start researching tanks, do we want an armor designer? It might not be bad, because I don't know how quick we're going to get to 15% uh, war support, so we might as well uh, use up that political power, just in case the research slot opens up and we want to go down the armor route. All right, things are slowly trickling out from attrition and everyone is good to go. Recover. All right, so everyone is trained up to level three. Digging back in, protecting our ports, getting your morale back and everything is awesome. Unit unable to move to a providence along its path. Well, I don't know what you're, you're trying to do there. Like, if I moved you over here. Yeah, it's, it's sort of sort of messed up a little bit, but no worries. Everyone is moving back to uh, back to their stations. Sorry about that. A hey, full fuel stock, 13 army experience. And still at 14% war support. So we're six days away from superior firepower. And we gotta think uh, we're a month away from 38. So we should be able to research some 1938 tech. Uh, and what exactly will that be? 
I wonder. Probably the next level of infantry equipment. Um, help our infantry get a little bit better. And our armament effort is almost done as well. So another military factory. So I'm sort of at a crossroads on what we do. We've almost got 2,000 manpower. So I'm thinking. So our national focus is complete and our research is done. So let us work on support weapons. National focus will be now we don't need nuclear effort, political power, collectivist ethos, liberty ethos, neutrality interventionism, can set volunteer forces, can send volunteer forces, okay. Neutral foreign policy, we can go volunteer corps. Foreign expeditions, why we fight, technology sharing. Um, Research bonus for land doctrines. So that's improved research speed on equipment. Trade deal opinion factor. Extra political power. Huh. So I'm thinking army effort. We'll work down some equipment. We'll just improve our army as best we can. Now we're running even Steven. So what do we do with our military factory? One more bump in infantry equipment perhaps? Probably. Running a little bit of a deficit from uh, the support equipment, but that's fine. We'll keep producing all of our infantry equipment that we can. And uh, I think we will call it here everyone. So. Improving along nicely, uh, working on army efforts now. Uh, looking at our uh, research, we've got our third tech tree. We have a support engineer brigade attached, or, you know, little battalion attached to each division. Looking at Germany, hasn't really moved. United Kingdom, limited rearmament. Germany is unknown. Looking at the United States, Air War Plans Division. And uh, we are three years away from that election. Looking at Japan. Yeah, looking at a claim on China. So, yeah, things are uh, proceeding. We're about a year and a half away from the start of historical World War II. And we'll see where we end up at that time but that will do it for me like share and subscribe if you are so bold thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you in the next hearts of iron 4 video take care